Patrick, and thank you for joining me at A Word of Faith. Today, I would like to talk about expectation. I'd like to talk about expectation. How long do you expect to live? Um, the other day, we read Hebrews 11.1 1 that says, uh, have you got your Bible handy? Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is what we expect we've been talking about. What are you expecting? What I'd like to talk about today is expectation and what you see in your life. See, in my life, I've met and seen four different evangelists, four different preachers. Shall we call them preachers? These are men of God, people who love God and had a relationship with God. But what you expect determines your future, and faith is extremely important. If you look at Hebrews eleven six, it says that without faith, it is. Uh, it says without faith, it is impossible to please him. For him, God, uh, uh, who, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those. Let's read it. Uh, of those who diligently seek him. Are you diligently seeking the Lord? Many people are, but what do you expect? I want to tell you a little bit about, about some people that I know. Uh, here in Japan, we had a famous preacher came. This guy was from California. Uh, his name was Chuck. He led many people into, uh, into the kingdom. Great man of God. Loved the Lord. But he had some funny expectations. His faith was a little bit out of whack. See, I met the guy at, a, a, uh, at an event one time, and he said, um, that God had broken his leg to send him to Bible school. God broke his leg? Are you serious? If we're the children of God, then God is a child abuser because he would be our father abusing us. That's not how it works. Later on, um, a few years ago, he actually died. How did he die? He died of lung cancer in, in considerable pain. It's a really sad story. But this is where his expectation lied. So this is Chuck. Then if you look at another person, we went to um, great meetings in Florida and uh, many people came to Jesus through this preacher, great man of God. He, he had um, uh, great faith in that he led people to Jesus. He was a very outgoing evangelist and it was, he was an amazing man. But you know how he died? He died of cancer. I'll never forget one day uh, sitting there and he, him telling people, prosperity is not God's will. Pro uh, African in... Uh, Nigeria or some African nation doesn't need a Cadillac, is what he said. But when he said that, I thought, as I sat next to my wife, I, thought, I said to him, or I thought to myself, why would a, uh, someone in Africa who doesn't even have a house or, um, or the, th the basic things they need, need a Cadillac? Of course that's not what prosperity is about. Prosperity is about getting the guy a bicycle, getting the guy a cow so that he could feed his family. This is prosperity. But the sad thing is, this man, Steve, he died of cancer. It was very sad. But that's not really God's plan. As I compare Chuck and Steve, I see that there's two other people that I, this is the way that I want to go. When I'm ready to check out of this earth, this is the way that I want to go. The next person is a guy by the name of Ken. Ken was a man of great faith. He led many people into the kingdom. He, he built Bible schools, and he also was a great uh, man, uh, preacher and, and did a lot for the kingdom. So what happened with Ken? Well, Ken got to about 83 years old, and um, he decided it was about time for him to go. One Saturday morning, he, he was with his family. His family um, had come together. You know, I think it was his son and his wife, and they were sitting around the breakfast table and he said I love you and he died right there at the breakfast table that's something but if you want to hear about one other person one other person that I um, I admire that being able to choose when you want to leave this one other person so the fourth person Charles Charles was from Arkansas Charles got to be 80 something as well the cool thing about Charles is on Friday night he called his family and said I'm going home I'm going to be with the father so what happened with Charles? He, he called people on Friday night, on Saturday morning. Um, the way that his family uh, has shared this is so cool. On Saturday morning, I, I guess they got together on Saturday. Sunday night, he went to bed. Uh, excuse me, Saturday night, he went to bed. Sunday morning, he didn't wake up. That's the way I want to go. Uh, Kenneth and Charles both decided when they uh, 
wanted to go. They went long and they went strong. They didn't die in their 50s and their 60s with cancer or disease or sickness or something like that. They died when they wanted to go. They, they, and they didn't really die, actually, if you think about it. All, of, all four of these men of God, they all went to be with the Lord. But it's the quality. It all com comes down to expectation. So what I want to challenge you to do today is set your expectation correctly. Don't set your expectation low. Set your expectation, expectation high so that you can live long and strong on this earth. God has a desire for you to be a great testimony. And your life and the what people see of your life is a testimony. So I encourage you today to change your word. Don't let your... Uh, your uh, words become filled with fear, but let them be filled with faith, because faith is what pleases God. This is Spencer Patrick, and thank you for joining me at A Word of Faith. Mm -hmm.